What's going on people, it's Saivo here and today I want to talk to you about the things that have changed in Aeon since I left in December 2016. It's been 6 months and I've noticed that really many positive things have been added to the game and some negative things that are still crap as they used to be when I left. Before we get going I want to mention two very important things. Number one, thank you very much to all of you who have welcomed me back through the comments and the messages of my previous video. I read all of them and I really appreciate all of your comments and your nice thoughts and your bad thoughts as well. So uh, thank you very much for that. And number two is that, uh, getting into the topic of this video, is that before I left, I made a series of videos explaining the state of the game in my opinion at that time and what can be done to improve it. Now I see that every single thing that I actually mentioned in my videos back in November and December last year was actually done by Gameforge or NCSoft, it doesn't really matter, but everything was actually done mostly by Gameforge. So I want to say props to Gameforge for actually doing something positive and moving forward to be more appreciated by the community and to make the game, Aeon, a better place. So really good job Gameforge on that uh, on that side. I was talking in my videos about uh, all powerfuls and um, serums and I see that there's a lot more all powerfuls and serums on the broker and they are also cheaper so that's that is huge that is amazing and that's really nice to buy a serum for 55 million instead of 120 million which was the cost of a serum back in where I when I quit in December that is that is ginormous now I want to say something to Gameforge about this pay attention not to make them extremely cheap because as I keep saying all of us that play on for a long time really like the grindiness of the game and that's important to keep having it right so how it is now it's really good for now so don't bother anymore because you've done already a good job and I feel that this particular drop rate or whatever you have done to make it as it is the prices as it is as they are then this is really good this is this is still grindy but it's nice right it's nice it's okay that's that's what it needs to be um, number two I was talking about the experience obviously to get 75 and I've seen that I see that I, saw, I told that, that bedding should always be here now bedding now is always here so this is really awesome I was really happy to see bedding because bedding is my best friend bedding gives you a couple of quests that help you to level up for those of you who are new to the game and don't know so bedding being here is a step forward for Aeon in 2017 so good job to Gameforge again for this on top of bedding there's NPCs there that pop at specific times also that give you a quest this is really nice speaking about experience and um, let's say Gameforge helping the people to level up we have a permanent 50% experience gain. Now, about this 50% experience gain, I want to tell to Gameforge that this should be 100%. Now, 50% is you're doing about this much, yeah? Giving 100%, you would be doing this much, and this much, you can actually see it with your eye. You don't have to have glasses, right? So, 50% is meh you know like okay towards meh but a hundred percent would be nice you know okay towards nice so that's really something for you to think about this is my opinion and i hope you guys in the comments uh, will agree that this 50% can be 100% without any problem, without breaking the game and making people happy, right? 200% is too much permanent. 100% is good. It's just like putting bed in there, a good step. Now, on top of everything, uh, there's one thing that they added in the, um, in the cash shop, I'm not going to show you, but um, there is a pack that you can buy, a starter pack that was on discount and it costed, uh, it cost 116 coins, which is just a little bit more than a gold pack, but it's really worth it for new players or for players that just start the game. That pack, beginner pack or whatever they call it, is a really cool thing that Gameforge did. They say that it's the value of two and a half thousand coins or something like that in a 116 coin pack. So that's really cool. That should stay 116 coins forever. And that should be because that's really attractive to buy it. It it helps you a lot. It's not gonna 
it's not gonna get you to 70 by itself but it helps you a lot from zero from level one to level 66 it really does help you a lot so that's 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 another good thing for gameforge see already three good things that i say about gameforge this is un unreal right um what else this quest right here i'm not sure if this guy is an event this bobo runerk but he gives you a quest that you do adma you clear adma and you kill the puppeteer and then you continue to doing the obomo slab you know the enhanced version of them and then those quests you can take them every time and they give you a really good amount of xp which is 90 million it is a good amount of xp for a guy that's starting from 66 and going upwards or a guy that's 70 or a guy that's 69 etc etc so this guy this sugar right here should be permanent if it's not already permanent i, I don't know yet and uh, it is a really awesome idea so another props to whoever made this maybe this comes from korea or maybe this is a game forge thing i don't know but props to the people who put the shugo for these two crappy dungeons to be more attractive you know because now you take the usual quest and you take this quest and there you go that's kind of a nice xp um on top of everything there is uh, siege quests for the abyss sieges now those are really awesome, those are really awesome quests and it motivates people to go to Siege and actually do something and it also brings the people that like to just be AFK because they just want to level up and do those quests and get the XP. So yeah, it kind of brings a different crowd to the Sieges as well and I saw very many people just being AFK but then again before these quests existed I never saw any of those people being in a Siege or bothering to come. So I guess it's, it's okay, good and bad at the same time, the quests are amazing. I'm just gonna tell you that straight up front, the quests are amazing and that's a really good thing. I've also noticed, speaking of so many quests, you know, siege quests, bedding quests, uh, this Shugo quests, Tea of Recovery is a really good thing to have now with all of these newly added quests, right, that you can always do. So Tea of Recovery is uh, cheaper than when I left on the broker and if Gameforge wants to do a cool thing, would be to make tea of recovery more accessible somehow through the cash shop or maybe put it some rewards for some events maybe like a shugo dungeon because you know the last uh, what rookie bookie circus was a piece of garbage so maybe tea of recovery should be like you know very common drop in those places so that these quests that we were talking about are even more attractive to everyone so you know really cool stuff can be done with this by game for so tea of recovery should be made a bit more accessible even though it is cheaper than when i left but i'm just saying it's still pretty expensive and you need a lot now you have so many quests and it's so cool to pop a tea and my alarm is going off Anyway, um, on top of that, the uh, hero quest, this piece of shit that I was complaining about also uh, before I left, has been made one step more accessible, one step cooler, right? And because it, it asks you to do, uh, this is kind of a dumb thing for today, enchant a mythical weapon to by three levels. But still, if you, you know, have a mythical drop from mobs and you have three of those black stones, which are really cheap on the broker, then you can get yourself a Lotus Golden Star. So even this, even though it's dumb, it's still something. Um, this one is pretty cool. Kill 10 Ilios, this is pretty cool. You know, I I've noticed that they removed the retarded quest to kill 10 elites in the opposing faction's land and to do, you know, something 20 times and 40 times. That's dumb. So this should be, this is nicer. This can be a lot more attractive, of course, but it is nice. So, so far, I've only mentioned nice things. Let me tell you a couple of shit things. Um, well, shit and nice at the same time. It's the uh, Shugo game, this most recent Shugo game. Where's the rewards? Rewards here. Now, the uh, rewards of the most recent Shugo game, let's select Shugo Fever as well. Um, this one, Shark Leaders things, these give you uh, PvP stuff. Now, I definitely don't agree with PvP things, you know, gotten through the cash shop or something in the cash shop but but to gameforge's defense i will say that the pvp things these days 
are tradable so you won't see stuff that's you know untradable in the cash shop and that is actually pvp or game breaking you know to to put them in the cash shop right when the content is really hot they did put in the cash shop also those payton weapons which are obviously uh, expired by now but they are really good to use as a combine right as a combine under your pvp weapon or something like that so it's it's okay the rewards have been increased i can see that even without uh, where's the sugar even without the sugar fever the rewards are really nice you know three all powerfuls three holy serums you know i'm looking like a child at these things because when i used to play last year for example in november to get three holy serums and three all powerfuls was like whoa really and they are the the tradable versions as well so these also help to you know put more into circulation maybe even a gm came on this all servers and j he just planted all powerfuls and serums maybe the drop rates are not as they seem uh, you know bigger <laughs> maybe the gm did it but whatever they did gameforge did it right um, it can be better and they put all sorts of you know really amazing rewards game breaking things but uh, pvp things this is crap that it's in the in the cash shop through the Shugo game. This is retarded. Who named uh, stuff that gives you PvP things? Who named them Shark? What What is this Shark? Shark. What was the... The guy that... You know, it's kind of stupid that I'm complaining about the name of a pay-to-win box in a game, right? But it's, it's, it's so bad that it's actually sad. Who named Shark? What is Shark? What does Shark come from? The guy that made this name should be fired. Because obviously he doesn't know anything about anything. In any case, um, all sorts of Antrishka things, another shark web, <laughs> Shark stuff. Hey, do you have the shark set? I have... I'm full shark, bro. Anyway, um, plus 10 mana stone bundle. This is game breaking as well. But hey, yo, at least you get to the level 4 and you actually feel it in your pocket, right? When before you got to level 4 and you got two Seranium medals two years after they came in the game you know some king's herbs these kinds of things i see that they have kind of removed them and they left some pretty nice things of course some things are updated i mean antrishka's things these are these are really niche things that nobody really wears maybe if you're a cleric and you want a fourth set or something but i'm just saying you know there are some outdated things that are crap but uh, still i would like an antrishka shield just saying um cool what are the things? I guess this is everything that I have noticed right now, as of right now, the things that popped in my head. I'm sure there's other things as well. Um, PvP gear uh, is now kind of accessible, so I understand why they put it in the Shugo game. And that's about it. I will see you in the next video, guys, when we're going to be talking about patch 5.5, because that's giant. And many things are going to change in the game after that patch, right? Obviously, every point zero is going to change things. Like, I don't know, 6.0 is going to bring a new class and uh, new gear uh, quality and stuff like that. So... You heard it here first, boys. In any case, I'm going to see you in my next video. We're going to talk about 5.5 and everything that it brings. It brings a lot of new, cool, really cool and game-changing things. And until then, guys, lots of love and uh, see you soon.